there's a war coming. Interesting quote to use. What's happening, film friends? Dave the Film Junkie here. All right. Well, we got some more stuff when it comes to the, the Schneider cut or Zack Snyder's Justice League, of course. Um, nothing, you know, not, not anything re relatively new, but it is interesting when it comes to the quote that is used on the, um, on the, one of the still shots right here from uh, the movie. Man, this is such an interesting, it's so interesting because you really didn't get to see it all that well. I mean, I guess in the first trailer, we kind of saw Cyborg, you know, when he's lifting off and he face shield comes down or, you know, wraps around his head. So, of course, we have right here what Snyder just posted today. He said, there's a war coming, and that's a quote from Martian Manhunter. I believe I saw somebody underneath the thread so go, that's not Martian Manhunter <laughs> or something like that. Or people are just joking around. I don't know. It's interesting. It's funny. Um, uh, interesting shot to use. Uh, the freaking full-on, the mask, uh, that just looks great. I mean, it looks... The vi the vi the the VFX are just going to be sharper and sh get sharper and sharper and sharper and uh, yeah and he did say yesterday I think it was yesterday or maybe it was under underneath the quotes today that yes the movie is complete and it's ready to go but there's a war coming Martian Manhunter so why would he place a Martian Manhunter over a cyborg shot? Okay, so obviously it's like, hey, well, why don't you just show us? <laughs> just, hey, Zach. Hey, Zach. Can, can you just show us? Can you show John? Huh? That's all you want to see when I see that green guy. Come on. Can we please do that? Um, and he didn't, which I, I don't know. It's it's just an interesting choice. And then, of course, the quote is an interesting choice because obviously we know one of the scenes that um, Martian Manhunter is going to be in is obviously when um, – Martha goes and visits Lois, and it turns out it's actually not. It's a uh, Swanwick, and then it turns into Martian Manhunter, and we get the full reveal, which is going to be fantastic to see. Obviously, she, you know, there's not going to be any mention of, uh, you know, there's a war coming in that scene right there. So that just shows you right there that, yes, there's going to be another scene with Martian Manhunter in the movie somewhere. And I'm thinking that it's, it is going to be, you know, some people are wondering, does he show up at the end of the final act? No, it's not going to be that. Um, what's also interesting about this, um, because I, I think I have an idea of where this quote lies and I'm going, wow, why, why choose that? Why choose that? That's right there. I don't know for one, for one thing, it's like, maybe there is a war coming with Warner brothers. I don't know. Maybe that's something. And that's why he put it over, um, cyborg, you know, because of stuff that's been happening, obviously with, uh, maybe with Ray Fisher or something like that. Maybe there's something about it when it comes to it's symbolic for that. I don't know. Uh, probably not. Um, a lot of people are pointing out the fact that, yes, uh, well, he's doing that, and he's basically talking about sequels, isn't he? Because the war is not coming. I mean, obviously, Steppenwolf shows up, starts uh, starts laying the groundwork, but Darkseid and his fucking army, his bigger army, I guess you could say, are going to be showing up later. So, And yes, in the context of this quote in the scene, it's like, yeah, he. it's kind of like warning, warning people of, or warning someone of, of uh, what's to come, so it's an interesting uh, use of the the quote right there. So I don't know. Uh, I mean, take it with what you, what you will, Snyder. I mean, he's it's always like a puzzle. We're always trying to uh, peel back the onion and be like, what does he mean? What is he talking about? Why do you put that right there? It's all very interesting. And of course, he uh, dropped this one right here, showing Diana, which we've seen this shot too, obviously. The Snyder cut on it, um, and then of course on the um, on the big IMAX screen. So it's sounding to me like, yeah, he's going to have something up his sleeve guys when it comes to, uh, the release. Yes. It's exclusively on HBO max. So we're never going to see him in those promos talking about the dual release in theaters. And of course on HBO max, we're not going to see that. We're not going to see the, uh, the movie within that, but I think he's got something up his sleeve when it comes to IMAX release. I, I it's gotta be the case. I have a feeling I am going to be able to see this movie and you guys hopefully will be able to see this movie in HBO or, uh, in IMAX, I almost said in HBO max. <laughs> you want to see it in HBO max, huh? Obviously, but, uh, he's working on a lot of things and I'm going to go through, uh, the thread here because anytime he posts images, you know, it gets all, well, especially these image. Yeah. Anyways. Um, no, no, he always responds to comments and everything. And, uh, Mr. Scott McClellan does a good job of breaking down his responses, but, um, yeah, just, I don't rule out 
don't rule out that it's not going to be showing up on HBO Max somewhere. I'm, I'm just wondering what he has up his sleeve when it comes to that. Like, is this just going to be like a one weekend thing, like just events that happen everywhere? I mean, I, I, I thought it would be kind of a cool idea. I don't think he would actually do it because he's a busy, busy man that, uh, you know, did something similar to what Kevin Smith did when it came to Jay and Silent Bob reboot. He just like took it on the road and <laughs> just showed various, you know, theaters and pretty much like that was a huge success for Kevin Smith because he funded the money or got help with funding of the uh, of the budget. And then he pretty much made it back like like right away just doing that tour. It's pretty interesting. Of course, this is a different kind of movie. You know, you got Chainsaw Bob and Justice League. I mean, it's not exactly in the same. Yeah. But you get what I'm saying. I don't think he would actually do that. It's just I think he has something up, up his sleeve when it comes to this. So uh, let's go to the thread right here. And thank you, of course, Mr. Scott McClellan for breaking it all down for us right here. So obviously we got... Uh, there's a war coming. This means war. And then here we go. Uh, and then somebody asked, uh, Martian Manhunter dialogue or Manhunter dialogue. Cool. And he said, yes. And then he was responding not long now. Where is Green Lantern boss? Hmm. Yeah. I think, uh, Grace actually might've kind of, uh, fucked that one up for some people. She keeps on like kind of spilling the beans on some stuff. I don't know. But, you know, it's whatever, I guess. The real dark side said, uh, I'm a fucker. Will we see Cyborg in upgraded suit in the nightmare scene? Thank you for making my dreams come true, boss. And then he said forearms. So, yeah, we know that though we're going to see Cyborg with forearms. That's going to be uh, pretty damn awesome. I can't wait to see that, of course. And then we got Jim Lew uh, Lewandowski. Lewandowski. The final trailer will be mind-blowing. I can feel it. Can't wait. And he says, I think it's, well, pretty cool. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Small talking uh, Zack Snyder here. Uh, I'm working um, hard. So this is what he was talking about when, it ta when he was talking about international releases right here. I think uh, that's what it was. Yeah. When he's talking about international releases, that's what he said. He's working hard, you know, because he's got like a huge, uh, you know, there's fan base in India. I mean, I, I know this too, just because just looking at uh, the demographics on my stuff, the analytics, it's like, um, you know, I see that there is a lot of, there's a huge fan base in India. So yeah, I think that that's what the, uh, the question was right there. So he's working hard guys and hopefully he'll be able to get it, get everybody, uh, you know, being able to see it and everything. And then we got this. I know that's a personal choice, but I think it's okay to watch the trailer and get uh, that small sip from uh, from the chalice. So small sip from the chalice. Mm, tastes delicious. Then we got Dawson right here. Uh, how much screen time would you estimate Cyborg actually uses that Cyborg helmet in flight or battle? He uses it when he's crashing through things face first that would uh, be problematic without a helmet. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Love it. Okay. And then uh, uh, Muxit asks, does Cyborg says uh, does he say booyah in your cut and hell no we know that that was a case we know that that was a reshot thing we know that ray fisher did not want to say booyah you know and, and, and it's funny too because this was already talked about before and a lot of people there are people that thought like it came straight out of the comic books and it's like no it came out of teen titans that was the original you know it wasn't like part of the comics but i know i think they're trying to make it part of the comics now if i, if I read something correctly i don't know it's very interesting then it says from uh, Dimitri, boss, since Fabian wasn't available for the reshoots, were you the one who did the cinematography and additional photography? Yes, he did, of course. Yeah, that was mentioned before, which, yeah, he didn't need to uh, rehire some or bring back Fabian. Fabian was busy, though, you know. It's finished. Yes, totally finished. Love it. And then it says right here from Luke, we're going to see more than him visiting Lois, aren't we? Yes, that's what he's talking about. Wink. Yep, that's where the line is. It's not going to be right there with Lois. So there you go, guys. That's the breakdown right there. Thank you, Scott, again. But um, yeah, it's just it's interesting that he chose that. He chose that line. You know, it's it. There's, there's just a lot of people are just like putting on their fucking uh, the tinfoil hats and, you know, breaking it all down, doing the Charlie Day thing. Like, what does it mean? He's talking about the sequels, the sequels, the sequels. Is that what's going on? Ray Fisher went live. I think it was today. And he talked about, you know, a potential justice. Too. He just said, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, obviously, he's not going to be in the know. Not as much as, uh, of course, everybody else. He just I know he'd be perfectly down. He also said that he wants to see the air cut, too, which is cool. So more more. Uh, promo for the air cut and hopefully uh you know we get some uh, ray fisher making some rounds 
and stuff, you know, to get uh, things going here. That would be pretty sweet. I mean, I'm, he's got an open door to come on the Vodka stream, or even if it's like um, before that, just if he can't make a Friday night, I'm glad to uh, just talk to him, talk about many, many things. And then, of course, um, you know, kind of talk about a little movie that he's in, possibly. So anyways, guys, that's uh, that's everything right there that happened. I'm trying to think. Am I missing anything? No, I think that's pretty good. So uh, let me know your thoughts about it down below. What do you think about all this? Hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm doing this stuff. Follow me on the sock meds that are down below, Instagram, Twitter, and there's a Facebook page if you want to like that too. Uh, hit the join button if you want to join the Film Junkie membership program that they have on youtube you could do that to get some stuff get some goodies with that but uh if you want to get some uh, real uh exclusive stuff early access to things join the patreon that is provided down below if you just have a dollar just to support the pirate ship much appreciated and if you want to get some shirts merchandise like this uh keaton shirt right here that is down below in the film junkie closet go check it out guys and uh that's pretty much it love you Bye bye